Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm going to be talking about the source code leak in air quotes that happened recently on Grand Theft Auto V. Now, if you haven't heard about this, basically there was this sort of rumor that started about these GTA V source code getting leaked. And there were some new things that were leaked, like all of these DLCs and stuff like that for story mode for Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, that were cancelled and that were scrapped and all these weird models and stuff like that. Basically a bunch of stuff that was in the game files still and that had been in the game files I believe for quite some time. Presumably even before GTA 5 was released and then some of it was for like I said single player DLCs that were supposed to come out but that never actually ended up coming and things like that. Now there has been a lot of fear mongering going on especially on Twitter but even on YouTube. A lot of people saying that like you can't play GTA right now, ah, da, 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 da. if you do, you're going to get your account hacked, you're going to get your personal information outed, all types of stuff like that. And it's largely BS and most of it is actually not true at all. Because most of the stuff that was like really bad that was like your account is going to get hacked and stuff like that was actually from a source code leak that came out in 2022 uh, last year in September I do believe it was. If you guys recall there was a week where basically nobody on PC GTA was even logging in and even on console as well and there was a lot of fear mongering going on with that as well. But a large part of the source code leak that just happened was actually stuff that came out all the way back in September of 2022. Rockstar no longer uses any of the information that could lead back to the player, so that it's all completely changed. The hack that has happened to the GTA source code does not affect anybody anymore. It, it may have back in 2022, but as of right now, everything is completely fine. Rockstar actually ended up changing the source code, I do believe it is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a super nerd, I don't know what any of this means but I'm telling you guys what I know from a few reputable sources, especially on Twitter, being Tez2 and Videotech UK or Ben. Go follow them on Twitter. They're both linked in the description down below. I get most of my information like this from them. Not to call them nerds when I say that I'm not nerdy enough to understand this. I just don't get it. But from what I hear from both of them, who are both extremely reputable, this is completely false. All the fear mongering and stuff like that that's going on is very, very exaggerated, and most of it is not true at all. And I'm actually going to read you guys a tweet here from Ben or Videotech UK on Twitter. And he said there's a lot of misinformation regarding GTA Online. It should be very clear GTA Online on PC is safe to play. Over the last year, Rockstar have made changes to the internal back end to ensure those those in possession of the source code were not able to impact service in private and invite only sessions. So maybe in public sessions you might get affected by this. If you're playing in a public session on PC though, honestly you should be expecting bad things to happen to you because it's riddled with modders, it's terrible. I play on PC, I don't go in public sessions on purpose. And this is not even due to the source code necessarily leaking, this is just because modders found a way to exploit what was going on with GTA 5 and they've been doing it for a very long time and it has never really been fixed. So this is just a suicide mission if you're playing in a public session on PC anyway. So just stay out of public sessions on PC. I know it's a big part of the game, but unfortunately it's just kind of a part of the game on PC. So stick to your invite only sessions and your friend only sessions. Uh, you don't want to play in public sessions anyways because bad things are going to happen. Your game's going to get crashed. People can find your IP, stuff like that through there. But the fear mongering part of it where people were going to like hack your bank details and take over your PC remotely and stuff like this, it's all garbage. Garbage. That's not going to happen. So don't really worry about that sort of stuff. All of these leaks largely stem from September of 2022, as Ben or Videotech UK says. And he also made a subtweet on this that says Tez2 also backs this up. Uh, so I mean, if Tez is saying it, I trust it. And then if both of these guys who are both extremely reputable are saying it, it's it's true. There's no part of me that feels like any of what they are saying is false at all. It, it's, it seems very legit to me. For those of you who are playing on PC, for those of you who, that have been worried about PC and the source code leaking and everything like that, it's largely exaggerated and most of the stuff that has happened with the source code leaks and everything like that will never ever ever affect you. It, it's just something you do not need to worry about, so that is good. Now while this might not impact the players of GTA 5, this does impact Rockstar and I want to condemn it right now that these 
people that are buying the source code, the people that are hacking in and taking the source code, everything like that. Quit that shit, man. Come on now. They're stealing from Rockstar. It is negatively affecting Rockstar, definitely. It's leaking a bunch of stuff that they never intended to be leaked, like all of these story mode DLCs that allegedly were going to take place, as well as a bunch of stuff in online that may have been taking place as well. They've also found weird maps and stuff like that that never made it into GTA. They actually found Liberty City, allegedly, in the GTA source code uh, that was supposed to be part of a DLC. So there's all this stuff that they're finding that never was intended to be found, that never should have been found, and that I'm sure has really negatively affected Rockstar Games. And I do think that this is something that really needs to stop. If you haven't heard, there's been a bunch of leaks recently. I think there's a company called Insomniac that just got hacked as well, and a fully playable version of one of their games is actually on the internet now that should have never been out. And obviously we all know about the GTA 6 leak and then leaks that came out right before the trailer as well. It's super unfortunate. Everybody needs to quit doing this bullshit. It is not healthy for these companies that make the video games that we all love to play and really enjoy. No matter how much I wanna know everything about GTA 6, no matter if it was advantageous for me to somehow get information, you know, a month early, a year early about GTA 6 that I could exclusively make videos on, I would never do it because I know how negatively it would affect Rockstar Games and I do not wish any of that on them. They go through enough with the community, giving them shit all the time for everything they do, whether it's the new DLC, whether it's GTA 6 taking forever to come out, out. It doesn't matter. They get so much trouble from the community. The last thing they need is to actually get hacked and to start losing money over this sort of stuff, over basically things that don't matter. You know, we. I would love to know what the GTA 6 map looks like. I don't need to hack them though. I don't need to know what it really looks like that bad. So it'll be cool when it gets released, but until then, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I know a lot of people are impatient these days, and I think that's largely why these things keep happening. But anyway, guys, the takeaways from this video, GTA Online is safe to play on PC. Try not to play in a public session in GTA on PC just because you're going to get attacked by modders all the time and they can actually see your IP unless you're using a VPN and they can take out your internet depending on how good of a uh, little hacker nerd they are. So just stay, you know, stay clear of that and uh, stop, stop hacking. If there's any little hackers watching this shit, quit that shit, man. Come on now, please. Let's just leave it alone. Anyway, guys, that's all you need to know about the GTA source code information. It's safe to play. A lot of the source code stuff came from 2022 and most of it um, that is new is non-threatening in any sort of way except towards Rockstar Games. So anyway guys, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Hey, yikes.